Welcome back to another Foundation Friday. I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today I will be reviewing another high-end foundation. I finally got my hands on the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now right off the bat, the title alone makes me nervous. I kind of went against my better judgment, being someone with oily, acne-prone skin, to buy something that says Sheer Glow. I usually prefer the words full coverage. And then glow often kind of coordinates with like dewy. And dewy is something that us oily skin girls try to avoid. But even though it is called sheer glow foundation on the box it says it's for dry to normal skin, that's nothing about us oily skin girls, some of my favorite YouTubers like Jackie Ina and Nakia Joy have both reviewed this foundation and it's like their favorite. They use it all the time. So I'm going to give it a try and let you know how it worked on my oily skin. My face is now ready to go. I did use my Neutrogena Moisturizer and the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. So now let's apply this foundation. Opening it up for the very first time. I'm excited to try this. So I have the color Cadiz, that's a cool name. Uh, and this is their medium dark three. Now I've also seen a lot of videos where they say it's very important to shake it up. And this is where my microphone decided to stop working cause you know, that's fun. So here's a little voiceover. But this is where I tried to open the NARS bottle the wrong way and I just popped it off realizing later that it was supposed to be a twist top. Hence why I'm struggling with it right here. But I also decided that I wanted to do half of my foundation using a brush and half with a beauty blender. So I grabbed a brush and used this to blend in one side. And looking at it now, it actually did a pretty good job. I do like how it turned out. I just think I personally don't like using a brush. So I did quickly end up switching back to my good old beauty blender. Once I switched back to my beauty blender, I either applied more on the beauty blender than the brush side or I realized I would get more full coverage when using the Beauty Blender. So maybe if you want a more sheer coverage, use a brush, but I like a little bit more full coverage, so I was totally happy with my Beauty Blender. Once I finished blending all the foundation in together, I really loved the coverage that I got, which was very surprising, even though it's called Sheer Glow, I got the perfect amount of coverage that I was looking for. And now let me go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Ah, the power of hair and makeup. This foundation can be bought at Sephora, Ulta, or Nordstrom's. <gasps> I had a Nordstrom's gift card I could have used. Darn it. This foundation is now the most expensive foundation that I personally own. It is $47. It's one fluid ounce, just like the majority of foundations out there. It comes in this glass bottle and it has a twist top. So I accidentally pulled it off thinking it was a pull off type of top but you actually twist it. I do wish that it had a pump, but we gonna make it work. There are a total of 19 different colors to choose from, five of them being darker than my skin tone. So looking at how beautifully matte my skin is right now, I don't know why they would call it sheer glow. I feel like that title is just really misleading. I honestly would not have purchased this foundation based off the title alone because those two words would scare me in my oily skin, but because of other credible YouTubers, I'm giving it a try. So it is currently 4 p.m. I'm gonna come back in a couple hours and we'll see how well this foundation lasts over time. And I'm back, it is now 11 o'clock p.m. So I've had on this foundation for seven hours and I must say it looks really good. It held very nicely all day. I'm just a little bit shiny in the areas that I always get shiny, but it's nothing too crazy. Oh, I'm so happy. I really wanted this foundation to work, especially if it was gonna cost that much. It needed to be amazing. So at this point, I'm going to grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are the Walgreens brand. They're CVS brand, Target brand, Clean and Clear, whatever you want, they're all the same. I use them in all my foundation videos. And now I'm just going to blot. So I'm just gonna do press. and all the oil is gone and on to the sheet. My skin looks so good right now. I'm actually really surprised at how well this held up. Do not be fooled by the title Sheer Glow Foundation. I have very oily skin and it did a great job at keeping me matte all day. Side note, I also bought the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is also a very popular concealer 
and it worked great with concealing my dark circles. So I did like using this concealer and the NARS together. And if you wanna to continue to see me use this foundation with different concealers, powders, primers, make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee so you can see my continuing thoughts on this product. If you wanna see more foundation reviews, make sure you check out my makeup playlist to see all of my other Foundation Fridays. I do post new foundation reviews every Friday and other beauty videos on Sunday. So I will see you all next week right here on Bianca Renee Today. And maybe my skin is glowing, but it's not leaving me dewy. It's going to keep me matte. Darling, give me two minutes. Yeah. I'll be done in two minutes. I'll be done in two minutes. Oh, yeah.